Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio from AEC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is an air handler that's not turning on, and the problem is with the power supply. So the electrical power coming into this unit is not correct, and this is a single phase 240 volt air handler, and we presently do not have the correct amount of voltage coming in, even with the breaker on and the disconnect switch in the on position. Okay, so we're measuring 82 volts, and so you see right there there's a problem. now. In order to, to figure out where the problem really is, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to I'll switch the probes here. I'm going to put this multimeter on that lug, and I can do a little bit better than that by just putting it onto the electrical wire in the lug, and I'm going to go onto this ground right here. And you see we're measuring 124 volts. Now when we come over here, we're measuring 35 volts. So, so that's telling us that we have a problem with this leg right here. So this, this power leg. Now I want to tell you it's going to get even more confusing if you had this air handler in the on position. So you know, you're know you coming to the job site and you're trying to determine, hey, what's going on here? And if you were to measure from here to here, you measure no volts. That would indicate the problem. Now if you were to measure, once again, to the ground, you're going to measure 120 volts here, and you're going to measure 120 volts here. Well, why is that? The reason is because on this side of the system, it's connected. So this leg of voltage is gonna be red on both the legs. I know that's confusing, but the, basically the easiest way I'm gonna tell you to be determining if you have a problem with your power supply coming into the air handler is to turn that breaker off to the air handler. This way you're disconnecting everything else on the air handler and you're just measuring over here. And like I said, you're gonna measure here, both of them, then after that, you're going to go from one to the ground, and you see that there's no problem here. Our problem is right here. So we're going to go ahead and see where that breaker is located at. And basically, we, we know, at least on this unit right here, that we don't have a problem at our switch. I already measured there. We have a problem at the breaker. So we know that there's a problem with either the, the wire coming from the main panel, from the breaker, or the breaker itself. So right now we have the breaker off, not just this one, but the main power supply breaker is in the off position. And what I wanna do right now is I just wanna make sure that we have no voltage. So no voltage, we've got nothing. Okay, so what I wanna do right now is I wanna do a test for our resistance and I wanna make sure that there's no problem with the wires touching the ground or each other. So let's test each other first. And you see it reads, oh well. From there to ground, we've got oh well, and from, from there to ground, we got oh well. So that's all good. Nothing is touching each other. These two wires and this, nothing, there's no problem there. So at this point, you're gonna be calling in a licensed electrician. Here's a sub-panel box, and the measurement on the main lugs is 250 volts. Now, I wanna make this very clear, as an HVAC tech, if you are not working under a licensed electrician, you should not be in any type of breaker box whatsoever. And that's because a licensed HVACR tech in most states is only licensed and insured to work from the air handler to the disconnect. And that's it. They're not supposed to be going inside the breaker box or in a sub panel, and you're, you're not insured for that either. At this point, the electrician's gonna be measuring for the voltage inside the sub panel box. They're gonna be checking some of the other breakers. They're gonna be measuring each of the legs uh, of the breaker that's going to the air handler. They're gonna see where the problem is. They're gonna identify it. And then they're gonna to have to turn the power off to the sub panel and then replace that breaker. If you notice these other two breakers have a black and a red on them and they are 240 volt breakers and, and the black and red wires are there because they're both power wires. And so this breaker that feeds the air handler has a black and a white wire. Well, that should not be white. That should be a red wire signifying power. White usually means common. Power is on to this air handler, however, this breaker is in the off position. What I want to do is I'm just going to test for, for power in. So I want to test my voltage right now while the air handler is not under load. And let's just see here. We have 249.7 volts. And now when we check from one leg to the ground, we're measuring 124.8. And from the other leg to ground, we're measuring 124.7. So now we know what our voltage is presently. Now we're gonna also see if there's a voltage drop after we turn the power on, and we're gonna turn the electric strip heater on, which means that we're gonna to wanna to have our, our multimeter 
in place, at least to take a current draw ahead of time in order to see if the, the current is climbing. It should not climb at all. There shouldn't be a spike right when it turns on or anything like that other than for the blower motor. The electric strip heating, which is back there, that is a resistive load, so it should be drawing the same current all the time. But we want to see where's the problem coming from and what is the total amount of current that this, this air handler is drawing. Right now the breaker is off and we have our current clamp around one of the two power wires right off the breaker. So we're measuring the total current of the whole air handler. Presently it's at zero. We're going to get ready to turn this on and measure our power. So right here we're going to also measure our voltage. So we have 250 volts coming in. Let's go ahead and turn the power on. We already see our voltage has dropped to 246. And you see our current draw is right about 23 amps. Now it doesn't matter that we don't have this door in place because this is a PSC blower motor. And in actuality, if we had this door on, it would draw less current uh, just because of the nature of a, a PSC blower motor. If it was variable speed, it would be important to keep this door on. Anyway, we have a very small voltage drop here, not enough to affect anything negatively. Our current draw is low enough compared to the max current breaker size. And so 23 amps is about 80% of 30 amps. And so this air handler should be able to run even if this had a higher amount of current, but, but this is fine. I don't see any issues with this air handler now that that breaker has been switched out. And in fact, for this model number and this air handler, it is recommending a 30 amp max current breaker. Here's the breaker that was switched out. Maybe you can see that there's this burn mark here. And so, this, this breaker was the one, was the issue. Uh, so we don't see any problem with the wiring. We don't see any problem with the current draw. This is a resistive load. The blower motor draws more current when it starts up, but once it's on, it's, it's not drawing any more current. There should be no change in the amount of current that's being drawn right here. Make sure you take advantage of all the resources we have over at our website at acservicetech.com. And we have quizzes on multimeters we have it on thermostat wiring and so make sure you go ahead and check that out along with all the articles the the calculators the quick tips and the podcast and make sure you check out our refrigerant charging and service procedures book we have the full outline over at acservicetech.com slash acbook hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at acservicetech channel